Okay, it's time to get on with the final case of this game, Rise from the Ashes. Now, as I think I might have mentioned earlier in the walkthrough, Rise from the Ashes wasn't in the original... Uh, in the original GBA game, but it was included especially for the DS release. And, basically, the full name of the, the DS re-release in Japanese was Gyakuten Saiban Yumigeru Gyakuten, and Yumigeru Gyakuten is the name of the fifth case of the DS version, which literally means the revived turnabout, so it's Rise from the Ashes, so technically it's the only um, one in English to not use the turnabout theme. Now, this is an odd case for me, because it's just... <sighs> ah! Who? What? Yeah, basically it's just so such an odd little ending thing on the end of the game that just doesn't quite... Did you, what? No. She died. What the fu- The Phoenix Wright, fool! <sighs> yes! God! Some of these people. It really is just such a... Because I kind of miss Maya, because Maya's... Emma just sort of appears and just replaces Maya, and it's just so sudden. It, it... Also, it's just got so many new gameplay mechanics, because it just feels odd. Anyway, here we have Emma Sky who is going to basically be our sidekick for the rest of this case. And it's a very long case. My lord, is it a long case. It's the, the, the longest case in the game. By far. But it also has all these really weird DS support functions, so you've got to use the touch screen and... Yada yada yada, it's just like... Ugh. Anyway. Um, Emma's surname in Japanese is Fuzuku, which means treasured moon or jeweled moon. Now, her first Japanese name is Akan, Akane or something or other, which may come from the phrase Aka, Akane Sasu Sora, meaning glowing sky, which her English surname, S Sky, might be a reflection of that. Nice little thing. Now, Emma Sky actually turns up in the Apollo Justice series. So, but probably why they introduced her now. Because they were going to move on to that eventually, weren't they? Anyway, director Takashi Yamazaki's original idea for the Ace Attorney Investigations Mal Edgeworth spin off series was actually a detective spin off series using um, Emma Sky, which is quite interesting. Also, Emma is actually modelled after Maya Faye, but was given her own neat trait to make distinctions between the two. So that's why she looks so similar. Then, sort of, in Apollo Justice, Emma's made more mature and moody, so that her role doesn't conflict with that of Trucy Wright. Interesting little fact right there. Oh, poor Emma, her parents died. Oh, that's not nice. Uh, right, now the reason that Emma's personality was changed was because character designer Kazuya Nuri wanted to keep her cuteness intact. 
for her facial expressions as an adult. So, that when she expresses the anger, it's more like an adorable quote than anything. His favourite animation of Emma is when she's munching on her treats, apparently. And also her eye colour chain changes from blue to brown. And here we have our client for the time for the case. The ever insatiable Lana Sky. <sighs> now, for some bizarre reason, when she says, My name is Lana, Lana Sky, the sound effect changes from female to male, which is kind of weird, if you ask me, but, uh, yeah, it's really odd. And also, Lana's... Lana is the only character whose frontal sprite actually turns around to show the back. I mean, Von Karma has a back-facing animation, but it's only for his sideways prosecutor bench thing. Which is quite interesting. Right. What?! Now, the whole military uniform like clothing thing was apparently used to symbolise her strict discipline, or of her feelings in sequence, because she's quite tough like that. And also, the three medals you see there are medals for winning the Prosecutor of the Year award three times. However, it shouldn't be possible, because she... Has apparently only been a prosecutor for two years when we've met her. I think we will actually find that out. So, yeah. Those medals are absent in flashback scenes and photos of her, so. A, I don't quite know how they made that mistake. I guess it's just because three medals looks better than two. You know? Ah, she's the chief prosecutor. Oh, what did happen to Hand? Hmm. Huh. Now, in Turnabout Sisters, Red White calls the chief prosecutor to have was arrested, which I think has led many to believe that Lana Sky was that individual. However, apparently it's a mistranslation. The position mentioned in Turnabout Sisters is different from the one that Lana holds. Uh, the chief prosecutor in question also acts far more emotionally than Lana is acting towards us right now, so... The chief prosecutor in Turnabout Sisters is not Lana. Just so you know. Who was attracted to you? Oh, okay. It does sound a little bit different when Emma says it. She's just got a little sort of extra power behind her um, stuff, you know? Oh, poor, poor. poor Emma. Bless the little cold songs. Uh, we will defend you. We have never def not defended a client. Never. You hear me? Now, another thing is that um, there was the Wii edition of this game that was released. But, it was a vanilla edition, because the fifth case was not included. But it is able to be purchased for an extra 100 Wii points. 
Now, the case wasn't released until May 2010, which was four months after the game itself was made available for purchase. And that's most likely because the DS-specific waggle mechanics in Case 5 took longer to adapt for the Wii than the rest of the game because of its unique evidence examination minigames, which I think are just absolutely stupid, but there we go. Yeah, let's go do stuff. You know? <sighs> hmm. Very true. Emma. Very true. Crud. Oh, I love this guy, he's hilarious. And the song's just sort of so bouncy. It's like, woo! Ah! Bloody hell, nice. Bambina? Dude, that's Italian. Yeah. <laughs> what the flip? Anyway, yeah, Bambina is girl or baby in Italian. Basically, as I've already said. And that dude did think he was a sheriff, but I'll get into him later when we find out his name. Her, uh, oh, it's a wallet. Very true, that's always a good idea. <laughs> oh god! Now this it, this is where it starts to sort of get a little bit futuristic because we've got this check function, so we've got to move things around on the touch screen. Now I don't really like all of this because it's just a little bit dodgy, if you ask me. But I'm sure it's all right. An apologist is put it not not in my phoenix right. No. <sighs> yes, I guess we should do. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be on our bloody toes because she's gonna blum him rat us out. Oh, it's found it's where the body was. Oh dear. No, absolutely nothing wrong. Ah. I don't mean to do anything. We're just finding stuff out, you know? Yes. Vittles, okay. The saloon upon 12th floor of the prospect office. Might just find you a service like Prospector? What? Hmm. Good lord. This guy's weird. Oh, okay. Joy. <sighs> huh? What? Ah! It's another woman with big boobs. <sighs> She's another absolute cleavage woman. Oh, God. Now, this... Here's the rather interesting Angel Star.
and she used to be called the Cough Up Queen. <sighs> She's the witness. Yeah, but Claire. That's never good. <sighs> oh, before you knew it, oh god, she's a dominatrix as well. Ah, this lady's scaring me. Now, Angel Star. Her French name, which I don't know, I can't bother to figure it out, is and means angelic star. Now, the name Angel itself could be used to convey her to goodness and purity, which is at odd with her overly aggressive nature, and her multitude of boyfriends. And the star is also probably meant to convey similar sentiments. I think her Japanese name is Ikinotani Kyuka, which is the Ikotani bit is a play on Iki or Ichi no Tani, which is the site of a famous battle during the game Pi War in Japan. And Kyuka means an offering of flowers before a grave or mirror flower. Now, Angel actually has a difference in her eye colours, which are apparently due to glib contact lenses, according to the developers. Don't know why they do that. But, uh, clearly they just wanted to make her look like a duplicitous cow. <sighs> and yes, she does seem to have a really knack for hating on prostitutes. It's ridiculous! But, it will. <sighs> she, at least she's spilling the goods, so that's always good. What? Mm-hmm. My god, this girl is just weird. She's just absolutely nuts. Lunches does she have in there? Wait, where'd she get a trio bite for, from? They're kind of like extinct, I think. Uh. <laughs> Very basic analysis, if I if you do say so. But huh. oh god, yeah. oh, she's scaring me. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> 